Okay, I figured stuff out here on this series of JB uh, discs. It's always been thought that these discs represent funerary objects because they found them a lot in in uh, grave sites, uh, and the disc would be placed over the person's chest. But that's not all they were. We've already established by using uh, methods. Uh, let's go back to this one. This spot right in here is polished. If you look at the other side, the other side is polished too. So it was used, I quite convincingly shown earlier, uh, that these were being used as magnetic compasses. But this is the staggering thing. If you take the outside diameter and compare that to the inside diameter and convert that to a north latitude, you come up with 4.19 degrees north of the equator. That places it in North Sumatra. If you look at this symbol here, you've got the heavens, a palm tree, mountain, and other various things. This means uh, moving, something moving, like moving water or something. And if you take this all together, these series of characters were marked eventually into what was called, uh, or came to mean paradise. So all of these characters put together refer to the island of Bali, which is not too far from Sumatra. We trudge on here. On this one, there's the Julong here, and that puzzled me for a long time. This means scholar, and this means clasped hands. So what are they talking about? Uh, in another uh, disc we have, it's, it's uh, not in my possession yet, uh, and but it will be. On one side, it refers to the seven sisters. On the other side of the disc, it refers to the Southern Cross. There's only two places in the world, or at least one series of places in the world, that the Southern Cross constellation and the Pleiades constellation is visible from the same site. And that's right at the fourth degree uh, latitude on Bali and Sumatra. So anyway, this particular here, piece here, this is 10,000, and this little line here means of, or it's conjunction, and this is 10,000. So it's 10,000 of 10,000, which in Chinese culture means may you live 10,000 of 10,000 years. This one here is much more interesting in that it's referring to Shangdi. Shangdi is uh, translated as God. So you read the other side of this, and it says, Humble yourself before man, humble yourself before man, or good luck to man, when you, when you, oh, let's just try this again. When you humble yourself before Shangdi, it's good luck. Shangdi, Shangdi is referring to God. There's Shangdi, there you go. Anyway, this circumference, if you take the diameter, outside diameter, and you multiply that times pi, you come up with 9.1 inches. Coincidentally, that is exactly a one Chinese foot at 850 BC. From 850 BC, that distance of one Chinese foot started to increase until modern times, and it's about 9.4 or something now. But all, every one of these discs is exactly 88 millimeters in diameter when you measure it both directions and take an average. They are hand cut, so they're not exactly round. 
but they are hand cut and the ratio of this circle on every di disc is exactly 4.19. It's very precise and by comparing that to the information they shot and figured out on the Nebra disc out of Germany, I apply, applied the same math to this. These are star disks. Sky disks, I think they call them. Sky disks. Okay, let's look at this one again. Bali, this thing from Bali. This symbol confused me for a while because this symbol, the three looking symbol, when it's looked, when you look that up in the Hanzi dictionary, in the Chinese Hanzi dictionary, that symbol refers to flowing water. Well, what in the world are they referring to flowing water? Bali's not around flowing water. And then I realized Bali's an island in the ocean. This is referring to an ocean current. These were being used not as compasses on the North Silk Road. They were being used as compasses along the Maritime South Silk Road. Some of these are very, very old. So this distance around this, the circumference, 9.1 inches, refers to a measurement that started to change through time and it can't be any newer than 850 BC because by 750 or 700 BC, the Chinese foot was by then 9.2 inches, not 9.1. So anyway, just thought you'd like the update. Uh, keep you posted on my stuff. Uh, and um, there's more discs to come yet. I'm still still working on more discs and, and we'll publish those as I come along. But thought